Hi beautiful one, and welcome to this week's weekly guided journey meditation. This meditation we're going to visit the Kundri. She's a character from Grail Legends and Arthurian Legends, but her Celtic goddess roots go much, much deeper than that. She appears in many different forms, but one of the forms, and the form we're going to meet tonight, is as the Grandmother Crone Goddess. She's closely associated with guardianship and granting of the Holy Grail, and many deep, dark Celtic mysteries. I encourage you to go and visit her and learn from her whenever you wish. And I'm deeply thankful for you doing the work to remember who you are and helping to create a better world. All right, let's get started. We're gonna begin by connecting with the seven directions and sacred space. Let's sit down or lie down, whichever you prefer. If you sit down, sit with spine straight. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Breathing deeply and slowly from the belly. Allowing yourself to sink deeper and deeper within yourself with every breath. Deeper and deeper. With your mind's eye, I want you to imagine four gateways around us, one in each direction, east, south, west, and north. There are four dolmens two upright stones with one across the top, like Stonehenge. Very ancient, weathered stones. The gateways are not yet open, and they are each filled with a gray mist. Now focus your attention on the gateway in the east. See it as clearly as you can. You may be able to make out some symbols carved into the stones. The gateway in the east opens, the gray mist clears, and we see through to the landscape of the east. There's a beautiful meadow, and it's dawn. The first rays of sunlight are peeking over the horizon to light up little white fluffy clouds floating in the breeze. Fresh grasses and springtime flowers push their way up through the moist earth to reach toward the sunlight. East is birth, beginnings, the newness of life, the power of the mind and the intellect, and the element of air. Now focus your attention on the gateway in the south. See it as clearly as you can. The gateway in the south opens. The gray mist clears. And we see through to the landscape of the south. We 
we see a lush, rich jungle landscape teeming with life. And we hear the sounds of the many animals, insects, and birds of the jungle. The hot noonday summer sun shines from directly overhead. The South is passion, will, drive, inspiration, creativity, fertility, virility. and the element of fire. Now focus your attention on the gateway in the west. See it as clearly as you can. The gateway in the west opens the gray mist clears, and we see through to the landscape of the west. We see a sandy path lined with beach grasses, leading over a small hill and down to the beach. ocean stretches off to the horizon. It's sunset and the sky is filled with the beautiful colors of the sunset. Purple and red and gold, orange, reflected on the surface of the water. A crisp autumn breeze blows by as the waves roll lazily to shore. The West is the emotions, the divine feminine, intuition, motherhood, the times and tides and cycles and patterns that flow throughout the entire universe and the element of water. Now focus your attention on the gateway in the north. See it as clearly as you can. gateway in the north opens, the gray mist clears, and we see through to the landscape of the north. It's a frozen, barren landscape. Directly before us stands a tall, jagged tree stump with a round mirror hanging on it. The stars shine brightly in the moonless sky. And in the distance, you can make out the peaks of jagged stone mountains. The north is structure. physical plane, culmination, transformation, death so there can be rebirth in the east, and the element of earth.
Now focus your attention above you, reaching up into the sky, Father, up into space, past the moon and the sun and the planets, past stars, galaxies, nebula, reaching further and further above you into space until you reach the void, the darkness that gave birth to the whole universe. Now bring your attention beneath you into the body of the earth into the body of the land, reaching downward through the underworld, through the realm of the Dark Mother, through the realm of the sleepers, past the many rivers, streams and oceans of water that exist within the body of the earth. deep within the earth until you reach the stars of the Deep Mother and beyond those again the void. Now bring your attention within you, the center of all being. Feel how everything in all of creation, the entire universe, the entire multiverse, everything begins somewhere deep inside of you and flows outward into being. East, South, West, north, above, below, and within. Let us begin. With your mind's eye, I want you to see the gateways around us fade to be replaced by a thick forest. You're seated in a clearing in the forest. You can hear birds and animals chirping and moving around in the forest around you. When suddenly, an old woman, dressed in black rags, burst through the bushes in the north. Come with me, she says, and motions for you to get up quickly and come with her. She turns and dives back into the bushes and disappears. And you take a deep breath and dive into the bushes with her. You find yourself on a pathway, winding through the forest, northward, and you follow the old woman. As you wander through the forest, pathway winds 
over hills, through ditches, around trees and rocks. As you make your way ever northward, you come to another small clearing in the forest where there is a little stone hut with smoke coming out of its chimney. and a fire pit outside, ringed by stones, with a cauldron hanging over the fire. The old woman goes and stands next to the fire pit by the cauldron. Tends the fire. She motions for you to come over and squat down on the ground with her next to the fire. I am the Kundri, she says. I am the darkness that reveals the light. I am the way shower and the chalice bringer. What can I answer for you today, my child? to offer her a gift. If so, simply hold out your hands and offer whatever appears there. It is a symbol for what you really need to give.
she may offer you a gift in return. If so, take what is offered. The Kundri stands up and walks toward her hut and motions for you to come with her. This is my sanctuary, she says, as she shows you around, pointing out her sacred objects tools. The hut looks much larger on the inside than it did from the outside. Here, I have another gift for you, she says. As she reaches up on a shelf behind some jars and grabs an object and hands it to you. This is a tool for you, my child, she says just for you. Notice what she has handed to you. Try to see it as clearly as you can and remember it. This is a tool, she says, to help you on your journey of transformation and remembering. Now sit, she says, as I prepare us some tea from herbs I've collected from my garden. She sets a mug on the rough wooden table in front of you, made out of a cobalt blue stone. And she fills it with a rich, steaming, strongly aromatic tea. and sits down across the table from you. Drink, she says. This will help you. You drink of the delicious magical beverage. Feeling its golden liquid energy flow into you, filling you with golden light. The taste of it and the feeling of it remind you of something. something important that you can all 
must remember. It's time for you to leave, my dear, she says. As she hands you a cookie in the shape of a golden star and escorts you out of the hut. I'm sure you can find your way back, she says. Come again any time, for I love you, and I'm always here for you, whenever you need me. You look around one more time, and wave goodbye. before starting on the path through the forest. You wind your way through the forest, and make your way back quickly to the clearing where you began, and your body sitting waiting for you. You seat yourself back in your body and you see the forest fade. And the floor and room where you began return to normal. You return to your body fully, bringing back the gifts and the knowledge and the memories that you gained on your visit with the Kundri. Come back fully, wiggle your fingers and toes, ground yourself in your body. You may open your eyes whenever you're ready.